welcome to the Coachman Freelander 2011. We're going to go over some of the basic stuff so you guys can have a good trip. To start, it has a 10 cylinder engine, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, it's 28 feet long. Um, it's pretty easy to drive, surprisingly. Uh, going up hills and stuff, you want to take it a little bit slow. But other than that, it's driving like a, it's a, like a big minivan, nothing more than that. I'm going to go over some of the stuff that's on the, the RV here. The first thing is the generator. It's actually brand new. Uh, it's very powerful and it turns on from inside so you don't have to come out here to turn it on. There is a circuit breaker in it so sometimes people turn the generator on and turn on too many things which will blow a circuit breaker in here. It's for your security. So all you have to do is take the, the cover off and it's like a light switch and you trigger that. That's if, there's, if the generator isn't giving power to the inside of the RV but the generator is on. Okay. Moving forward, this is your antenna hookup. So if you're parked at a RV park and you want TV, you just plug in your antenna right there. This is your electrical outlet. So what happens is when the generator is running, this light socket has, is plugged into. When it's not, you just pull this thing out and you will plug it into wherever you are in the RV park, okay? And this is a 30 amp, remember that, 30 amp, not 50 amp, okay? Moving forward, this is to fill your water tank. So there is a very large water tank that's under the bed. You will plug the water hose in here. It's like a normal hose, garden hose, and you will fill up the water. You do want to go inside and check because it tells you when it's full to make sure you don't overflow because if you overflow, it will drain inside the RV. This one is if you are at an RV park and you want direct water connection. You would take the same hose, plug it in here, and this will allow you to have direct water coming, but it will not fill the tank that you have inside. This is the gas. Uh, very simple. This gasoline will power the generator and the engine, so it's not two separate gas tanks. It takes regular gas. You don't need to put premium. Uh, not diesel at all. It's just regular gasoline. These here are compartments. There's one, two, and three compartments. All three of them open up to the same storage, which is a very large storage that I will show you. I want to welcome you to the inside of the motorhome. There is a door handle here, which you can lock uh, for your security. It doesn't have a running stair because it's pretty low, so you can kind of just step in. A lot of the other ones have a stair that opens up, but this one runs really low, so it's easier to get into. Once inside, you'll see it's pretty spacious. I'm going to go over some of the basic stuff. So when you enter, right here is the first light switch. You can turn the lights on from there. Um, this one is to extend the awning which is outside it'll just extend in and out uh, whatever is easier for you this right here turns on the power without this on it doesn't use the battery now with this the battery is going to work and everything inside the way I like to explain it to people is this RV is actually in two parts the front which is the running engine part and the back this right here powers the back it has nothing to do with the front the battery can only hold so much stuff. So once the battery is used up, you do need to use the generator, okay? Simple rule, anything that uses a lot of power, you gotta use the generator. People ask this question commonly, can you run the generator while the RV is in motion? Definitely, like I said again, it's two separate things. You can do whatever you wanna do in the back, separate from the front. So you can run the generator from the back. Well, with that subject, let's see how we run the generator. So the first thing you gotta do, is prime it okay a lot of people think you want to prime it only when it's cold i tell people no prime it every time so first you come back here it says the word prime just prime it once twice three times okay the next thing is start and stop for the generator you hit start listen to it you'll know when it's started okay now the generator is running as you can hear, it's pretty quiet because like I said, it's a brand new generator. 
with the generator running now, you can use the microwave. You can use the TV back here. You can use the TV up there. And it's going to also, all these electric outlets are working now. So you could plug something into the electrical outlets. The refrigerator is not dependent on the generator. The refrigerator, if you put it on auto, it's the best because it uses liquid gas, electricity, whatever it needs to keep it running. It's not dependent on a generator at all. Little trick, if you're gonna run the microwave, turn everything else off. You don't wanna have two TVs on, the AC running, and then turn the microwave on. Because like I said earlier, if you do that, it's gonna trigger a fuse in the generator. Then you gotta park the RV, go out to the generator, take the front off, flick the switch again. So don't put too much burden on the generator. I wanna to explain to you the main board in this motorhome. Okay, I'm gonna go over each item one by one. The first one is a generator, start and stop. Right now, if you can hear, the generator is on. If I wanted to turn it off, I would hit the word stop, listen, you hear it turn off, now it's off, okay? This is to prime the generator. Whenever you wanna start it, prime it a couple of times before you start the generator. This little red light means it's primed, it's ready to go, okay? Water heater. This is if you want the water heater on, turn it on, and then now you will get warm water. The water pump as well. So the water is not always running unless you turn the water pump on. When you turn the water pump on, then the faucets will have water. The toilet will have running water. If you don't turn it on, you won't have that. The next are your measurements of what each thing is. LPG is liquid petroleum gas. If you push that, it tells you how much you have inside the tank. Battery, this is the, the battery for the rear of the, gener of the RV. Fresh, this is for the fresh water, how much fresh water is in your tank, which again is located below the bed. Black water, this is for your sewage water. It tells you how much tank has been used. So one third of it right now. Normally you wanna get it when it's empty and return it when it's empty and we will show you how to empty those. Gray is for your uh, sink water. So your two sink waters, they go into a separate tank and that will tell you how much is being used over there. Slide in and out. So what this does is there's a slide in this RV which can slide in and out. However, for that to work, normally have the generator on, one. Number two, you have to be parked. You can't be moving. Number three, the key has to be out of the ignition. You cannot drive the RV with the slide out. You want to be pretty balanced when you do slide it out. To slide it out, you hit the out button. And you will see the slide. I always tell people before you slide it out, check and make sure there's nothing stuck. Sometimes there's a kid's toy somewhere or something left which is going to get in the way and it's going to be a problem. So just take a look quickly to make sure that it is not blocked in any way. Same way, if you want to slide it back in, you will hit the in button and it will slide right back in. This is the AC and heating control. This vehicle's heat and AC are both run electrically. So if you want to run the AC, you got to turn the generator off. If you want to run the heat, you got to turn the generator off. And then it works like a normal thermostat that you have at your house. It's nothing different. Some of the RVs have uh, liquid gas heating, which is different, but this one is both electrical. So for the AC and the heat, you got to turn the generator on. One of the most commonly asked questions, how do I empty the black and the gray tank? Very good question. First step, open up this compartment right here. There is a hose right here, already ready for you. You will take that one end of that hose and you will come down here. Take this cap off, put the one end on here. The other end of that hose 
into whatever sewage department or compartment they have at the RV park. Once you've got the hose on, you need to empty both tanks. There are two separate levers for each of the tanks. Okay, so each tank has its own lever. The first one is right here. This is the black water, right here. If you pull this, when the hose is connected, it will empty the black water. What you want to do is do black water first and then gray water. For gray water, this is the gray water. You got to do the black water first and then the gray water. That will ensure your pipe is not dirty when you're putting it away. That's it. Pretty simple. This RV is great because it has liquid petroleum gas which lets you run the stove and the refrigerator. It uses very little so normally on your trip you shouldn't have to fill it. But if you do need to fill it, this is the spot. So you come right here, open this, open this. You're not going to fill it yourself, I assure you. You will go to any truck stop or petroleum uh, gas place. They will do it for you. They will be professionals and they will actually ask you to stay away while they're doing it. So it's not something that you're going to do, but just so you know where it is when you need to fill the tank. It's right here near the driver's seat.